Hello everyone, welcome to the Not Too Shabby Pup in a Cup YouTube Inspiration Hop. My name is Marla and I'm with Mad About Cards and Crafts. I'm going to start by getting right into the coloring. I did stamp this cute little image out using Gina K Designs Jet Black Amalgam Ink and I am going to color my little puppy with some E markers. I am starting with my darkest color which will be E35. I will then go in with E33, a little E31. I will leave some white space and then I will go over the image again just to deepen those shadows and once I have all of my color laid down I do use the Mindy Egan method and I go over the entire thing with my mid-tone which would be E33 and then I'll come back in and add just a little bit more depth to that shadowing with the E35. This absolutely adorable stamp comes with so many fun images. We are all so incredibly proud of Jamie for creating her own stamp set using her own drawings. The sentiments in this include, you warm my heart, a day keeps the grumpy away, so you can say a pugachino a day, um, for someone sweet, pup in a cup, happy birthday. It's a very versatile sentiment set as well as absolutely adorable. This is a hashtag driven hop, so I would encourage you to use the hashtag N. 2SPUPINACUP. So, uh, hashtag not too shabby pup in a cup, basically. And you will find so much inspiration along the way. Jamie has one of the most fantastic design teams, and you are going to be so inspired. I have absolutely no doubt about that. Now, the more that you comment, the better chance you have of winning a fabulous $25 gift certificate to the Not Too Shabby Shop. Jamie is going to announce the winner on her YouTube channel on June 25th and you must claim your prize by June 30th. All of this information will be in the description box below along with all of the products that I used. Now I am coloring this cute little puppy's muzzle. I guess I kind of made him look a little bit like a boxer and I am using the W colors. I am using W4, 6, 8, and 9 and I am just giving him a cute little uh, muzzle and then I will color his lips and mouth in R12 and R11. So if you haven't visited the Not Too Shabby shop um, it will be linked in the description box below. Jamie has a wonderful shop with so many fantastic brands. She carries My Favorite Things, LDRS, Trinity Stamps. She is picking up uh, papery ink and uh, so I would just encourage you to go take a look at her shop, look at her digital stamps. I have some videos in my uh, video profile for her digital design team and her own images that she carries for the Not Too Shabby Shop brand. Now this cup I decided that I wanted to use some lighter red tones and I came in with R14 and R17 and then I that very light color is R12. It was a little bit um, I didn't have a very good shadow, very good contrast, so I do come in and add the R29 to this as well. So I am just coming from the outside in because it's a cup. I want to kind of get that curve in there, and so my highlight is going to be in the center of the cup. Here I come in with my R17. As I said before, I do use my mid-tone to go over the entire image once I am finished coloring it. This is where I come in. I think that I just need a little bit more depth of color, and so I come in with that R29 and we'll do a little bit more blending and then I will re realize that I forgot to cover 
to color the lip of the cup. So eventually I will come back in and do that as well. Um, what else did I want to tell you? I know that there's a lot of information that I needed to give you and I want to make sure that uh, you have the best opportunity to win these fabulous, this fabulous $25 gift certificate. So I think that I did cover all of that. I am going to do a little bit of fussy cutting today. Believe it or not, I have been doing a little bit more and more. Oh my goodness, look at that. That is my brand new speckled egg distress ink and the pad was not adhered to the bottom of the plastic container. I have to take care of that. I really haven't contacted Simon Says. That's where I bought it. Um, but I did know that I wanted to use this on um, this card. I absolutely love this color. So I put a little bit on my uh, tonic pad and added some water. And then I'm using my number eight silver brush pen or silver paint brush to paint some lines onto this a uh, piece of Canson XL watercolor paper and then I will come in with Distress Oxide in Barn Door. I thought it kind of gave it a sailorly type look, you know, like a nautical look. And so I I absolutely love this tone of blue. I see me using it frequently. I can see some night skies including some of that. It's kind of a gray blue. Uh, at least it showed up that way in this particular piece. So I will just deepen those lines. I want them just a little bit darker and a little bit wider. And so I'm just freehand uh, drawing these organically. And then I'm going to come in with a Simon Says Stamp uh, Wonky Stitch Die. And I'm going to use both the small so I'll use the smaller one on this piece and then I will distress or not distress I will ink a background again using the speckled egg with um, my ink with my brushes to create the background and then I will cut it out using that larger wonky stitched rectangle. So I sped this up. Everything sped to about, oh, I guess four times, and this is five times. I wanted to add the coloring to this because I thought that it was important to the composition. I wasn't doing anything fancy here. I was basically super excited about this stamp set and super excited about the speckled egg. <laughs> I tell you, I'm, I can't wait to see what other colors Tim Holtz has up his sleeve. It's super exciting that we are getting some more colors. Now this is a Gina K Designs uh, panel. Uh, card base. I have cut it down to four and a quarter by five and a half. It will, that wonky stitched is probably a quarter inch all the way around, so uh, smaller than my card base. So that will um, fit nicely and allow that red to show through. I am using my Amazon tape to just pop this cutie up and then um, I'm going to finish off my card with a few other elements. I want to thank uh, Jamie so much for inviting me to join the Not Too Shabby design team. This is my very first project. You will see more coming from me and I am just so grateful to be on this team with such amazing company. We have like I said, some fabulous creators on this team and I couldn't be happy not only to be able to work with Jamie who is just a doll but uh, to be in the company of the other creators that are on this team. So I had a little bit of that art glitter glue that was kind of oozing out the top and I just took my finger and wiped it onto my panel. One of the things that I really like about the Art Glitter Glue is that it I don't get a lot of those lumps that I get that you can get with some other inks and um, that 
that just makes me really happy. I did come in with some Nina Desert Storm cardstock, and you'll see right here that I cut a little piece out. So I stamped the cup out and then on craft paper, just a portion of it, and cut that piece out. But I tried to use the speckled egg, and that just didn't work very well for me. It wasn't showing up very well, so I will come back in with another cut piece and I will use some um, Versamark Black Onyx ink. This is my favorite. You guys know if you've watched any of my videos, I absolutely love this Nina or not Nina, but Nuvo Glitter Accents. It's called Fresh Snowfall, and I thought that it would give just a little bit of foam to the cup. I will come in and add a few lines to the cup. Um, I don't have my Memento pen usually when I fussy cut or something like that. I like to go around the edges. I don't have my black pen, so I did take another pen that I have which is a micron pen and I did deepen some of those lines. I wanted to do an inside panel so I cut another piece of Nina Solar White 80 pound with the larger wonky stitched rectangle from Simon Says and then I added one of the cute little hearts to the inside of that panel as well because the red would be a little bit hard to write on so it has that cute little heart and then this stamp set comes with an adorable bow and I was looking at my little puppy and I just thought you know it really needs to be a girl I just really wanted a girl so I took the Gina K black jet black amalgam ink I stamped out a couple of those bows you'll see that I'm going to color them with the same reds that I used in the cup so the R14 17 and 29 and then I decide that it needs a little more interest and there is a polka dot a little circle as well as a little um, rainbow style uh, piece that you could make a little rainbow with and so I am going to put some polka dots on this bow using the same black amalgam ink and then off camera I will fussy cut that little bow out and I will add a little bit of that foam adhesive actually I'm using this particular uh, foam adhesive because the pieces are super small and fit perfectly there so I'm going to position it I thought about going a little bit sideways but I decided to go with it straight on and then I'm going to come in with some Lucy's iridescent diamonds again I will link all of the products in the description box below I want to thank you so much for stopping at my channel if you have not subscribed I would love for you to subscribe ring the bell so you're notified of upcoming videos and leave a comment let me know um, what do you like best about this cute little pup in a cup and um, just thank you so much for following along with us I hope that you stop at all of the hoppers channels and send them some love Thank you so much for watching. I will show you a close-up here in just a moment. And until next time, have a fantastic day.